one place where many people read their news is on their phones. But remembering to bring a charger and finding a plug can be a headache. That's why the focus is shifting to wireless charging, a technology that could make all of our lives just a little bit easier. Mark New joins us live from Silicon Valley to tell us all about it. Mark? Karina, competition for wireless charging supremacy is really heating up. Competition is, is really going up in many ways. It's, it's reminiscent of the old battle between VHS tapes and Betamax and also the recent war between Blu-ray and HD DVD. In all of those cases, there was a clear winner. But in this case, it's up for grabs on who's going to win this one. New York City's Madison Square Garden, one of the world's most famous entertainment arenas. It's also one of the country's first launching pads for wireless charging spots, 550 of them, all paid for by the Power Matters Alliance, or PMA. No cord is needed for the phone, but rather a mat that allows for flexible position induction-based charging. All that's needed is a phone, either with a charging case or a chip inside. Kelly Birmingham works for Power Mat, a key part of the PMA. There is a problem today in the market in that there is somewhat of a fragmented market. So we are making efforts to pull that together into a unified standard. The PMA has recently scored some big victories, aligning with carrier AT&T, launching in Sky Clubs at Delta Airlines and tables at Starbucks. Yeah. Rapper Jay-Z also provides charging spots at his trendy 4040 clubs. But the PMA is a long way from declaring victory. Camille Tang is president of Convenient Power, which vice chairs the Wireless Power Consortium, or WPC. WPC backs a different standard called Qi, one of the first available. A lot of people say wireless charging slow to develop. I disagree with that. If you look at Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, that those took about five to ten years to come to market. In two years, we've come out with products that are compatible, and you see, I think the proof is in the pudding. Onboard team WPC are carriers like Verizon and Japan's NTT Docobo and companies like Virgin and Coffee Bean. Tang says a key advantage is that she is already embedded in some of the newest smartphones like the Google LG Nexus 4, the Nokia Lumia and the Droid DNA. Products out in devices, now up to 34 integrated mobile phones, video docks, furniture. I think that's a pretty powerful statement in terms of how the compatibility operates across a very wide range of sectors. You won't find it in the iPhone, though. Apple may be waiting to see which standard wins out. Or it may be getting ready to set its own standard. Apple has filed a patent for its own wireless charging technology. What I spoke about in the piece was inductive technology, where you buy, whereby you have to actually place the phone on it. It has to touch the charging mat, and that's the key. But the industry is also pushing toward what's called resonant technology, whereby you don't actually have your, have to have your device touching the actual charging base. Um, but right now, the word on that is that it's still a short time away because you have your phone next to it, but you can only put it a few inches away, and the charging rate is also much slower. So with those limitations and also the safety and legal issues of the wireless transmission of electrical energy, that is still a ways away. Karina. We're still a ways away, but something we're definitely going to be waiting for, anticipating. It sounds like a great idea. Now, are the Power Matters Alliance and the Wireless Power Consortium the only players in this game? First of all, you got to love all these names that sound so powerful with these alliances. There is, <laughs> there are still some more of them. Um, there's recently one joining it called the A4WP, which stands for the Alliance for Wireless Power. Now, heavyweights like Samsung and Qualcomm are part of this organization, which is more focused, once again, on those resonant technologies. It's interesting to note that PowerMat, um, which I interviewed in the, in the piece, is also a part of that organization, too. So they're kind of on both sides. Another interesting player is Intel, who is working with other companies to develop chipsets for wireless charging. The idea would be for you to have your laptop, and then you could just set your phone next to it, and automatically your, the chip inside your laptop would be charging your phone. You wouldn't have to do anything. That is uh, on the way, but we'll see how well that actually works out. Karina.